Imagine feeding more than 200 children every weekend. That's exactly what we do as a church through the Fuel Backpack Food Program at Fellowship. Hi, my name is Angela Morell and I'm a volunteer with the Fuel Program. With the help of generous donors like you, grants, company donations, and school and community food drives, more than 200 food bags go out every weekend from Fellowship during the school year for hungry children in our community. At a cost of approximately $5 per bag, it takes more than $1,000 every week to keep fuel running. We're here today at Case and Lane Academy, one of four area Murfreesboro City Schools and one of seven total schools that Fellowship serves through the fuel program. Come with me and see what happens to the fuel bags after they leave the church. Hi, we're here today with Nicolette Sanders, the school counselor at Case and Lane Academy, and I'm going to have her share a little bit about her impact and role with the FUEL program. So can you tell us a little bit about... Yeah, of course, I'd love to. So um, like she said, I'm one of the school counselors here at Case and Lane, and one of my roles as a school counselor is to make sure that we're addressing all of the needs of the child. Um, so one of those is making sure that the child has all of their basic needs fulfilled. Um, so that's kind of how I got in charge of the field bag program. Um, and my role as a school counselor, kind of how that impacts that. So how are students recommended for the FUEL program? Yeah, great question. So a lot of the time students can be recommended for the FUEL back program um, just by student referral. A kid could come by my room, ask me if they need, um, if they could get the consent form to go home just for food, if they are needing any food, as well as um, parent referrals or teacher referrals. So really anyone in the school building is able to refer a student to the FUEL back program. Okay. What happens to the fuel bags when they arrive at the school and how are they distributed to the children who need them? Yes, yeah, so every Thursday um, one of your members of the church comes and delivers the fuel bags to us. Our custodian will meet um, him out there to receive the fuel bags. Normally they will come and deliver that outside of my office and then sit and wait. Sometimes I'll deliver those on Thursday afternoon. Sometimes I deliver them on Friday just kind of depending on how my schedule is for that week. And then um, the delivery process and kind of what that looks like is I would just kind of pass the bags down through the hallway, drop off a bag or two, however many bags need to be dropped off to that teacher's room. And I'll just set that outside their, their door so then that way I'm not messing up their instruction time. And then um, the teachers are already aware of like which students are on the program. They try to be very discreet whenever um, allowing the student to put the fuel bag into their backpack because we don't want to put a stigma on that student. Um, so the teachers have like their own specific way of how they allow that within their classroom. Um, but that's kind of like an outline of, of how uh, the program goes whenever you're dropping off the fuel bags. Great. Um, can you share some examples of how the fuel program has helped students and families? Yes. So um, I, I have one particular family that I think of a lot. And if we have a student last year that was a fifth grader and actually came back this year kind of midway through. And she, her first day, she knows that, you know, the fuel bag, she's very reliant on that for her and her family. And they came first day to my room and was like, Miss Sanders, can I get back on that fuel bag program? So I think it's good for the students to know that even though they might be food insecure on the weekends, that they do have some way of getting nourished over the weekend. They're able to focus more on their studies as well as be able to play and be a kid and not have to worry about that. Right, That's important. Um, have you seen uh, the need increase or change over recent years? Yes, I have had a huge increase over the past couple years. I know we started off, I was going back and looking at my numbers, and last year I think we had in total, I think we ended with 86 students receiving fuel bags, and then by the end of, just currently as of right now, we're at um, 120. And so I know it flexes each week, kind of depending, because we have a very transient population, but um, we have definitely seen a huge increase over the past couple years in the fuel bags. Yeah. Any final thoughts? about the program. I'm just really thankful for y'all um, and for you and for your church. You're great at communicating and being a partner. You provide stability um, for our kids and consistency as well to make sure that they know that they have that, that food available to them on the weekends. Well, we're glad to be a part of the program too. Yes, thank Thanks. you. 